Merry New Year from Metro Tech. Wow, the new year has started off great. So grateful for the opportunity to be with uh, Mr. Martin and Dr. Bills on Monday and Tuesday as we had the great opportunity to um, walk through uh, various sites and buildings of Metro Tech, being able to say Merry New Year to our faculty and staff. We have some students at 15% um, coming back and we're grateful for that. We're continuing to update our, our, our dates, really hope that we can get back to our blended um, remote schedule, um, flex schedule in the 25th of this month, really looking at that date. But we'll keep, we'll keep you informed as we look at that and see the data that is coming from our Oklahoma County and what's going on with our health department. I'm grateful to our health department, to um, our team here at Metro Tech as we continue uh, to have Metro Tech open in a, a clean and safe environment, striving to stay calm in this difficult situation. But it's a new year and we're excited to be open for business and continuing to work to increase um, career opportunities for our students and for our clients and for our partnerships. I hope each of you had a wonderful new year, energized, happy, ready to go, returning to work, returning towards our vision of uh, career tech and moving that forward. As we begin the first week of 2021, uh, you have uh, my word that we will pursue every opportunity to help those who seek a brighter future in this year. Um, I know many of you have faced uh, challenges um, that you didn't foresee. Um, and with those challenges, though, an opportunity to be able to create new goals and new dreams. And we're able to do that here at Metro Tech, creating new opportunities for business growth, for high school students, for clients, for partners, for adults who want to improve their life, Metro Tech is the answer and I'm so great, um, grateful for the opportunity to be able to share one of those examples with you today with our ACD courses and what's going on with that. Um, we have created some quick response courses that aid you in finding new work within um, as, as quick as, as 12 weeks to six months and you can find that information on our website. How many of you have made a resolution for new health goals? Hey. I'm on Strava and, and deciding to, to jog, and my goal is a thousand miles this year. Um, I'm on mile number 10. But hey, continuing to move um, forward. But um, you'll love the programs offered by our wellness experts. Um, they're free and available in different ways and, and lots of fun. Really appreciate our Metro Fit team. And so go to our website for more information. Take a look at great classes you can take at no charge. You can, make your, you can meet your goals by joining us online. A variety of um, courses, kickboxing, and other events that you can um, join in on. We are starting 2021 with some big news today. Metro Tech is on the move, upward. And we are excited, excited about being number one in the OKC um, market, um, number five in the state um, among our local peers in the Oklahoma City metro area as having the highest volume of training for service in three areas, full-time instruction, adult and continuing education, as we like to call um, ACD, and industry uh, training as well within our biz. Um, don't even count the numerous amount of customers um, that we have or the clients that we have within our wellness programs. Woo-hoo! We are number five in um, the state of Oklahoma and number one in the OKC um, metro area. And so cannot be achieved without um, great people. And we're so grateful for our people um, that work here at uh, Metro Tech and an opportunity to be able to share um, with you one of our departments today, our ACD department. It's great to be able to see data in which we created goals, made goals, and reached those goals as Team Metro Tech. And so in 2020, this team um, took on a huge team effort. We're grateful to be able to shout out to um, our biz, our ACD, our full-time programs, 
And it's great to see then on this book of list, ACD ranked number one in the state. That's awesome. Continuing education training, what a great team. And so we're grateful um, for ACD and the work uh, that they do. What a way to start out this year. Hola, Ronaldo. Que pasa? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. E too? Muy bien, gracias. Make sure that we're social distancing. We have our face coverings on. Man, it's a, it's a great day to be at MetroTech. Ronaldo, tell everyone who you are and why is it a great day to be at MetroTech? My name is Reynaldo Diaz and I am the Adult Career Development Director. Uh, it is a great day at MetroTech because, uh, first of all, we have a lot of students in our buildings right now. Uh, of course, we have to follow, you know, the, the social distancing and we have to follow the mask and, you know, yes, the protocols. And, uh, and the second thing is because of our wonderful ACD team, we are number one in the state in terms of enrollment. Fabulous. So explain a little bit about that. So what type of, you said ACD, what does ACD stand for and what type of courses are we going to see within ACD? Okay. ACD stands for Adult Career Development. Some of the courses are, that we offer here are CNA, CMA, Nurse Refresher, Veterinary Aid. Uh, we also use, uh, offer welding, a small engine repair, Microsoft Office training, CLID, etc. So really it sounds like you talked about some full-time programs, but some ACD programs that work into those full-time programs. So really a one-stop shop when you think about the, the medical field and medical opportunities. It, it's not just being a doctor or not just being a nurse. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, if somebody is working in any field and they decide to make a change or you know upgrade the skills, yes, we are prepared to accommodate them. And if it is something that there is out there that we, uh, we are not promoting or people they need, they just need to contact us and we will be more than happy to help them. We do have a ladder that people can follow to go uh, through the steps they need to in order to get a certification. And we are planning on doing that with all the courses that we have so people can easily follow that ladder as we have the ladder for the health career right now. So where can that information be found online and then what number would they call to be able to reach one of your coordinators? The best way for anybody to find out uh, the classes that we have and or to enroll is to call our enrollment number, which is 595-4678. All right, and so you see that on the screen, an opportunity um, to, to call. Uh, what type of, you, you've done this for, for a few years now. Yeah. Well, what type of advice then do you give to people who are, who are looking for a job or a new career right now? What would be your advice? Yeah. My best advice to people would be find out what your passion is. And with that passion, you know, then get the skills necessary that you are lacking of so that way you can make that career change or that change on, in the field that you desire to be. Because when you uh, do something that you are passionate about it, it doesn't feel like working. It just feel like, you know, you're doing something that you enjoy. So. And uh, like I say, all you have to do is just get the skills necessary, find out that passion, get those skills, and move forward. And there's no doubt you have a passion for ACD and what you do. And, and I, I'm, I'm grateful to have you as one of our leaders here in our district. So, a great accomplishment by your team. What's next? I, I know you're not satisfied, and I know the passionate team that you have. So. So what's next, and am I standing in what's next? Uh, yes, a great accomplishment. Um, uh, the ACD team, Adult Career Development Team, is a young team, and they're eager to keep exploring opportunities to provide quality training for the community. So we are looking, consistently in spending a lot of hours looking at what are the different trainings that are needed out there in the community in order for us to provide it so the community can take advantage of it and better themselves. So with this training opportunity, people can really 
uh, look for opportunity to see how can they quickly, if they are unemployed, how quickly can they get into uh, a new job, uh, a new adventure. So it, that's what we strive for, to, to help the community to get to a, the next uh, job possible and we, uh, we're trying to do it as quickly as possible. So you ask what is next? Yes, uh, I'm glad you asked because right now uh, we are spending count countless hours looking at the different trends out there to see what is, what is the training that is needed out there. And then in addition to that, we are evaluating all our courses that we have right now to see how can we provide that uh, certification that is nationwide. So that way people can have very credentials to go to those employers and hopefully secure that job that they are looking for. Uh, this classroom, this lab is designed uh, for, uh, to have up to four, maybe more classes at one time simultaneously with one instructor. And the idea is uh, it's gonna be open morning and evening. So that way whoever works at night can come during the day if they choose to, to get at that extra education and whoever works during the day can come in in the evening and take advantage of these opportunities that we have here at uh, Metro Tech. So this is one of the great uh, things that we're working on and it should be ready to be offered to the community very soon. Well, I appreciate uh, Ronaldo, you and your team and thank you so much for, for spending some time with us today to tell us about ACD and what's going on here. It's great to be with you, uh, Jay. Let's make sure that we're social distancing. Definitely. Woo, that was close. And um, we're, we have our face coverings on. It's great to be with you. Jay, tell everyone who you are and your role here at uh, Metro Tech. And where are we standing right now? Oh, definitely. So my name is J.D. Cotto. I'm the Adult Instructional Coordinator for the Health Career Courses, short-term uh, courses here at uh, ACD. And uh, we are currently standing in the uh, phlebotomy laboratory uh, slash lecture class uh, and this is where our phlebotomy classes do all of their training. So what is it like to work in the number one ACD program in the state of Oklahoma? Well it's funny that you asked that because <laughs> I will tell you this it, it's great. Uh, one of the things that um, when I first came aboard I've been at this position about two years okay. uh, but I came in as an adjunct instructor where I was teaching here for 10 years and uh, the first time we came in second place, the first thing I told uh, Mr. Ronaldo Diaz, our director, was, well, what is it going to take to get to number one? Nice. Um, so it's a great feeling to be able to say that we are now number one in the state. So. And so with that, what does that mean for students who are looking at a career such as phlebotany? What is it that Metro Tech offers for those students that's going to be very difficult to find at, an, at another location? Well, I'm glad you asked because uh, one of the things that we do here is that we try to ensure that we hire instructors that come from the industry themselves, mm. uh, not people who are retired, but folks who are actually working in, in, in the industry. So what they bring with them is realistic training um, and real-time training that's happening now. And then they're also able to help the students, um, once they're finished with their training, uh, find jobs. And so with that and finding jobs, what does this course do in finding jobs and, and what would it pay? Okay, so it's great. Uh, one of the things that the instructors try to do is help the uh, students with resume writing. A lot of times what we've noticed is that when they come in, can you look at my resume? And it's set up for, I don't know, retail. So you can't use a retail to, uh, get, into medical. to get into a medical <laughs> field. So we try to guide them in that, in that portion there in that way. Uh, and then we also, since we're still in the industry, we're able to actually send them to the places that are looking for jobs. And because a lot of the instructors are still in the industry, they know where the jobs are. So they're able to help them uh, apply for those jobs as they move forward. So in this lab, this course would be what, and then what could this course then, and adding this to my resume, help in, in terms of pay? So what's good about this class is that uh, just starting out, if you just take the class as a 12-week course, Okay. Um, so you're, you're in, you're out, but you're trained properly and correctly. You can actually go out with that training certificate and start working at anywhere between $12.50 and $13 an hour, okay. uh, which is great pay. And you're working in a professional setting, which will then allow you to either move up the ladder, um, as we like to say here, so you can move up into other positions in the hospital, whether it's CNA, CMA, or nursing itself. Uh, phlebotomy definitely will help you get there. 
So this opens up the door to other certifications that you just mentioned. That is correct, sir, yes. Wonderful. So Jay, we talked about this course, we talked about where it goes. Is there any opportunity for this course coming up anytime soon? There's a lot of opportunity coming up too. Uh, next week, actually, uh, oh. phlebotomy courses start and we currently have at least seven So phlebotomy available. course starts yeah. next week. <laughs> that is Promo, correct. Metro Tech. Go ahead, Jay. I'm that is correct. <laughs> And we have three actual uh, class times that they can actually go for. So we have a... Wait, and multiple times for multiple schedules? That is correct. Wow. <laughs> All right. So we have a Monday, Wednesday class that starts from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then we have a Tuesday, Thursday class that starts from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at night. And then starting in February, we'll have another class, phlebotomy class, that goes from Monday, Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And so you see the web address on the screen with a number. Call us and we'll set you up for that class, right, Jay? No doubt. <laughs> hey, Jay, thanks, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for being a part of uh, Metro Tech. Thanks for your passion for, for what you do and the support of our students here at Metro Tech. Thanks for everything and thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Anytime. Jay. Thank you very much and I appreciate the opportunity. It's always great to share the Career Tech Leader of the Week. And so this week is Tessa Martin. Tessa is a teacher for the Law Enforcement Services Program at Metro Tech South Bryant Campus, serving as secretary for the statewide criminal justice group for Career Tech. Mrs. Martin also teaches kickboxing. Wow. Oh, that's more karate. But anyways, for the Metro Tech Wellness Group, Metro Fit. Ooh, I think I pulled a hammy. And if you want to work out that will help your health, you can sign up for these free classes. Currently, Tessa Martin is helping students to compete and win on their upcoming project for Skills USA. Um, out of 35, I think there's 34 of the 35 competing. That is awesome. Um, can't wait to see the great things that our students are going to do and achieve in that contest. Um, one of Tessa's most proudest moments at Metro Tech was her students' uh, project at the Metro Career Academy's World's Fairs and a Native Fair. Uh, these events enrich the students in ways that traditional learning does not. Tessa Martin's hobbies include cooking, watching movies, puzzles, and of course, working out. Tessa, I'll see you at MetroFit on Wednesday. Eh, probably not. I'd like to thank everyone once more for all the flexibility and effort that went into recreating our educational services to meet the challenges we faced in 2020. We're, we're not through this yet, but we can definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, thank you again to our faculty or staff, from our bus drivers to custodial services, to enrollment, um, to our, our teachers, our adjuncts, to our clients, our partners, our students. It, it's it's all together and everyone has been so kind and has um, been flexible in, in making it work to keep educating to keep moving towards workforce workforce development having careers because that's what we do here at metro tech in oklahoma city that's what career tech does for the state of oklahoma boy i sure am glad we're in 2021 and looking for brighter future as we go through this year. Please know that my door is always open, always ready to listen. I'm sure that together we're making it a great day at Metro Tech.